while I do the the sharing of the of the stream. I'll wait till we've got some viewers to start. Three people. Hello, three people. Let me know who you are while I'm sharing the stream. Six. Nine. Hello there. Good evening. Good evening. Mom, good evening, Winnie Win. Good evening, Ian. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Hello, Alan. Et al. <laughs> Hello, Lee. Welcome to the stream. Entertaining GP Extra. Wow. Hello, GP Extra. You're doing an amazing job. Got 14 people. Hello, Martin. Welcome to the stream. get going. I'm going to start off with actually a cover tonight. This one's by Carly Simon. I've not sang it for a, for a good good few weeks now. <laughs> I'm presuming that's you Simon commenting as me. <laughs> this one's guy this one's by Carly Simon. Walked into the party like you were walking on to a yard. Your head strategically dipped below on the night. Your scarf it was apricot. You had one eye on the mirror as you watched yourself go on. And all the girls dream that they be a partner, they be a partner. Probably think the song is about you. You're so vague. I'll bet you think the song is about you. Don't you? Don't you? Well, you had me several years ago when I was so quite naive. And you said that we make such a pretty pair and that you would never leave. But you gave. Coffee, clouds in a coffee, and you're so vain. You probably think the song is about you. You're so vain. I'll bet you think the song is about you. Don't you? Don't you? Well, I hear you when I'm a Saratoga. And your horse naturally won. And then you flew your Learjet up to Nova Scotia. See the total eclipse of the sun But you gave away the things you love And one of them was me I had some dreams in my clouds In my coffee, clouds in my coffee And you're so vain you probably think the song is about you You're so vain I bet you think the song is about you So vain. You probably think the song is about you. You're so vain. I bet you think the song is about you. Don't you? Don't you? There you go, guys. That was by Carly Simon. Let's welcome all of you people. Hello, Danny. Welcome to the stream. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Bernard. Hello, Paddy and Pauline. Hello, Grandma and Grandpa. Welcome to the stream. Hello, Zug Zwang. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining me. Hello, Stee. Welcome to the stream. Hello, Graham. Hello, Ian from the sunny northwest. Absolutely. It's bloody gorgeous out there at the moment. I'm going to do a band song next. It's called Lady Iron Row. Danny, I hope you've got your double bass on the go. There is a man I know who's crippled with his heart 
This lady walked a long road, but Jesus played his part for me. Where do we begin? Lady Aaron Rowe, she fell for Mr. Dungo, but she's on a last parade, and he's on an evil plane. Something called Lady Aaron Row. I have this thing where my fingernails grow incredibly, incredibly fast to the point where I have to cut them all like pretty much every week. And so I, I used to be able to cut them every sort of in in the middle of, in the middle of the week where I wouldn't have any anything kind of going on musically because it affects the way I play. But at the minute, I'm literally playing every single day, so I have to sacrifice a couple of musical um adventures in terms of how i play the guitar so unfortunately my, my fingernails are a little bit short at the moment so struggling to do that finger picking stuff so there you go top tip about jenny her fingernails grow very fast <laughs> right let's have a look what you guys are saying hello marilyn welcome to the stream it's great to see you was that song about me no it wasn't um, apparently Carly Simon wrote that song about multiple people, including, was it James Taylor that she was with for a while? And I think he was one of the people it was written about. It's either James Taylor or some, some other famous guitar player, singer, songwriter kind of guy. Captain Thomas Moore nearly got it. <laughs> right. Captain Thomas Moore. Yeah. So on, if you guys are on the Patreon, I did a tutorial on how to play Captain, Th <laughs> Captain Thomas Moore and, um, Let's just say it's a very difficult song to play or it's a very difficult song to teach people to play, especially if people don't play guitar. <laughs> but yeah, that one was um, that one was more difficult than I expected it to be. I'm not much of a guitar teacher, so <laughs> I'm glad that you nearly got it, Marilyn. I'm presuming that you, you're messing about there. <laughs> Pearl Jam, maybe. People keep asking me for Pearl Jam. I honestly don't know a single Pearl Jam song, so I do apologise for that. And at the moment, I can't lie, I have no time to learn any songs. I'm literally studioing, or I'm rehearsing, or I'm streaming, so, <laughs> or I'm working. Either one. Hello from sunny downtown West Sussex. Hello from sunny downtown West Sussex, Jeff. Um, great to see you on the stream. Thank you so much for joining us again. It's hard on the air guitar. Yes, it is also difficult on ye old air guitar, I have heard. <laughs> on that note, let's let's sing that song. I did an interview um, for Magul TV yesterday, which will be going on this Friday, I believe, which I do sing the song Captain Thomas Moore. 
talk about a little bit about, about what it's about. Anyway, this one's called Captain Thomas Moore. Tell me what you're fighting for it Seems that we're living in a modern world I made it And I know what for Listen to the expert, not the boy next door it Seems that we're living to a modern world I'm Captain Thomas Moore on my name and walking for their gain for us all for their gain don't worry baby you will know when you're out the lesson we will learn for sure I walk around Of our world, but we are all united by our common step. We are hurting for our health, for us all, not for ourselves. Don't worry, baby, you will know when you're out. The lesson we will learn for sure. I walk around. Guys, that was called Captain Thomas Moore. And um, Bernard, yes, I believe he has heard. I heard the song, and apparently he liked it. I don't know. It was it was put on a Facebook group for Captain Tom a couple of weeks ago, maybe three or four weeks ago, and apparently he liked it. I don't know. That was just a comment on on the the thread, but that's as far as I know. Gets better that song. I'm liking it. Nice one. Cheers, Lee. Angela, thank you so much. First time you've heard me. Great, I hope you can come back each Wednesday. I do this every Wednesday. It uh, looks like it's probably going to keep going on the Wednesdays because the open mic scenes, I don't really know what's going on with all the all of the venues at the moment. It's so sad that, um, I don't know if you saw that Zanzibar's closing in Liverpool, which is devastating for the whole music community, especially around the North West. Zanzibar was one of the, the places that everyone starts out. Um, one of them venues that you, you know, you sell your own tickets and you got to get all your own fans there, and it's it's pretty, um, it's pretty shocking that the venue like that is is closed in the in these times. But hopefully, hopefully at some point these venues will pick up again and maybe they'll get taken over and stuff. So yeah, it's sad. You see me at Zanzibar, did you, Gary? <laughs> oh yeah, that was a that was a very fun night. I remember there was a a, a large group of people who came to watch me who got incredibly incredi- incredibly drunk. <laughs> But it was a good night. It was a really, really good night. To invest, need to invest in a left-handed guitar. There's, n- there are so, so right-handed. I think you mean so many. Um, no use to me. I know a few people who play left-handed and they actually just turn up a turn a right-handed guitar upside down, mum. So I'm sure we'll be able to sort that for you. <laughs> One of my favorite venues I've ever played. Yeah, I agree. Definitely. It was a great sound in there. It was just just perfect for for what it what it gave to people for for the years it did first time live listener hello john welcome to the stream thank you so much for joining us 
I've been stalking you for ages. Great. <laughs> I won't report you. Don't worry. Um, I think a certain level of stalking is cool <laughs> to a certain extent. But yeah, no, welcome to the stream. And I hope, hopefully, John, you'll come back and join us again. Uh, saw Misfits at Zanzi with Marky Ramon on the drums. That's awesome. Pretty awesome. Right. I can... <laughs> no, I know. I know. All you stalk... We're all stalkers of each other. Let's face it, social media. <laughs> right, guys, I'm going to do another song. I'm going to sing that song that I sang at Zanzibar that day, which I've now revamped into an Elysian song, guys. So, well, as a band, we've revamped it into an Elysian song. It's called I Swear. And it's about relationships, guys. And we all have them. How many names have you read of in gold? A name is just a label you know. And how many times do you say you're getting old? A name is just a number you know. And how many times do you have to go away when your heart? called I swear it's about going around in circles in relationships and not just you know you know all interpersonal relationships we, we go around in circles let's be honest because we're all human beings and we all have our own little traits and that's what that song's about it's about <laughs> I'm sure we've been here before so proper Atlantis vibes yeah definitely excited to hear this one fully formed with the band yes me definitely um what's interesting you say about the Atlantis thing is you know I obviously with with the way I write I think every single song with the band has got a different kind of female powerhouse singer songwriter behind it that's definitely influenced the the uh, structure and the the lyrics and the melody of the song, and that one probably I would say yeah definitely Alanis um yeah Dan I can't wait to hear that one with with everybody. Uh, 
Hello, Anders. Welcome to the stream. Great to see you. Thank you, Angela. I am, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the. It's got new strings. Well, I had new strings last week. Zanzibar was always bloody freezing. Yes, but as a performer, that is what you want. <laughs> Like the t-shirt verse. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Sing one of your own songs. That's why I started to follow you. Yeah, so most of them that I've sang so far have been my own. Um, except for the first one, I think. That would be you. <laughs> I think Alanis has a knee album. A new album. A knee album. An album about knees. <laughs> yeah, I think she's got a new album out. In fact, I know she's got a new album out. About the cooks. Um, don't know. <laughs> you are our powerhouse female. Oh, thanks, Dan. Thank you very much. Right, let's do one. I don't know any by the cooks. Um, cooks. I might have to go away and learn one of those. But I know, I know a few songs, but I don't know if I'll be able to emulate them on this stream tonight, unfortunately. What else should we do? Um. Let's do one by Gotye or Gotye or Gotchi or however you want to say it. This one's called Somebody That I Used To Know.
was by an Australian. I don't know. I always say an Australian band called Gucci because, like, I don't. Let's face it. I don't say where every other singer songwriter that I, that I sing is from. However, that's by an Australian band called Gucci. It's probably not even called that. I don't even know what they're called. All I know is that they've made some incredible, incredible bangers. And I heard a, a um, like a really funny kind of 80s ver- remix of that song the other week and it was just incredible. <laughs> okay, Molly's Eyes. Yeah, what's interesting, I played, um, I actually played a gig on Sunday, last Sunday, which was in Northwich. Apologies that I couldn't really let anybody know about that. Um, it was a bit of a secret gig. We didn't want too many people showing up. So that was that was called In Molly's Eyes. Uh, sorry, and when that was in Northwich. Wow, what am I talking about? <laughs> that was in Northwich. And actually, while I was there, somebody asked me to play In Molly's Eyes. I'd never, ever seen this, or, well, I'd never seen them, this person before. And they asked me to sing that. And I was like... Okay. So this one's called In Molly's Eyes. And if you need the backstory to it, it's about a little premature baby um, who is the daughter of a friend of mine called Paul, and her name's Molly.
Molly's eyes. That was for you, Paul, if you're watching. How sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Right, let's go. Where are we up to? So, Alanis Morissette is on the one show on BBC One now. Don't go and watch it. Stay here. <laughs> Thanks, Ian. See if you can watch that one back. <laughs> um, I don't. Damien Rice blows daughter. Um, no, good song though. Very good song. Thank you, Angela. Sailing to Philadelphia, I'm kind of addicted to your version. Of course. I'm kind of addicted to that song. <laughs> In, uh, very, very addicted to it. I listen to it every day. I'm being good, guys. I'm on the, the hot water. Because I'm still having some. It seems to come back and then just go again pretty quick. I know what it is, it's because I'm singing far too much at the moment, but you got to do what you got to do to keep music going. Let the music play. This one's by Mark Knopfler and also James Taylor sings on this, this track. It's called Sailing to Philadelphia. This one is for you, Jeff. We are 
Called Sailing to Philadelphia, and that's by Martin Offler. Who, um, I must say, we've got a lot of influence of Martin Offler in the band. Our guitarist James is, um, I think he's better than Martin Offler personally. Very, very impressed with all of the the uh, the lead stuff that he puts on the tracks. It's it's incredible. Uh, I really can't wait for you to be able to at least hear us um, together as a band because we're so excited. We're so excited. I think it's a, such a shame that all of these venues are are closing down because you know it doesn't put us in a good sort of starting point for for booking gigs obviously it's it's difficult at the minute but we definitely 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 will be getting some gigs as soon as we can are you on soundcloud yes i'm on soundcloud just type my name in um i've not updated it for a while however all of my ep stuff's on there as well as some live stuff from previous gigs so yeah check me out john on soundcloud thank you for asking that question Sandy Denny. Okie doke. I don't know why I always feel like I need to get the lyrics up for this one. But of course I'll sing a Sandy Denny song. Sandy Denny is another one of those um, incredibly influential musicians. If you've not watched the Fairport Convention documentary on Netflix, I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, especially if you're a fan of um, folk, tr- particularly traditional folk music. Um, some of the things that they did with the tracks, um, with some traditional t- folk tracks is pretty insane. Sandy Denny obviously was the, the singer songwriter from the band. Well, one of them. This one's called Who Knows Where the Time Goes. Across the evening sky How can they know it's time for them to go? Sad, deserted shore Your fickle friends are leaving Ah, but then you know It's time for them to 
It's time to go. So come the storms of winter, and then the birds of spring again. I have no fear. called who knows where the time goes <clears throat> i needed to cough all the way through that song <laughs> well excuse me guys right james taylor's song a great but very long that just means that we get more great song <laughs> uh heard garth Brooks song made me cry called mom I don't know that one. I've never heard it, Marilyn. I'll be honest. I'll try YouTube. You're having some problems with the stream. Um, yep, try YouTube if you're having problems with the stream. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Alison Krauss, yeah. Um, very, very good. Well, she's a, a class of more as a country country singer. Um, Eva Cassidy <laughs> I'll sing an Eva Cassidy song for you now if you want I just need to try and get rid of this cough before I carry on I'll do an Eva Cassidy song while we're on that topic well when I say an Eva Cassidy song I mean a, a song that Eva Cassidy sang this one's called Fields of Gold. Among the fields of 
Fields of Gold. Originally by Sting. Thank you, everyone. Who knows where the time goes? <laughs> I love all of these abbre Oh, hello, mate. I love all of these abbreviations. True to me. Wow, okay, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Well, what we'll do is we'll move over to the piano. So how did you find me, John? How did you find that song? Hey buddy, welcome to the stream, mate. Come say hello. This is for everyone. He likes to join us every now and then, don't you, buddy? He's a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. And he's the softest little teddy bear you'll ever meet. So yeah, true to me. Should we sing true to me? Do you think? Give me a high five. Give me a high five. Foy doesn't really do tricks. <laughs> he does a little bit. Remy does though. Remy, Remy, come here, bro. Now a high five. Oh, 
They're just showing me up tonight. You show me up. Come here, Ben. Come here, Ben. High five. Yeah. High five. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'll do I'll do true to me now. You two are gonna have to go though. Right, out then. Oh, okay, you lie down. You lie down. Lie down then. You can't start until you've chilled out. Sit there. You've got. You stay there. <laughs> they were doing so well. Right, okay, John, I'll sing true to me. Um. Okay, let's do it. Apologies if the dogs make a little bit of noise. Or if they decide to just move things. But that's just life. go john that was called true to me thank you so much for asking me to sing that one that's uh, on my ep which i released in 2016 and uh, i actually start the recording of my next ep on sunday 
so that's a uh, all in all in the works i've got all the dates penciled in for that so that shouldn't be too long hopefully all being well um but yeah guys if you want a copy of this the my first ep send me a message the five pounds and then obviously whatever the postage is so let me know guys thank you angela thank you thanks paul welcome to the stream Yes, she was taken way too early. If you're talking about Eva Casti, yes. It's very sad. Oh, wow, Paddy, thank you so much. <laughs> Doesn't feel like it today, I'll be honest, because I'm struggling a little bit, but... I think it's just going to be like this, unfortunately, if I keep keep doing it. <laughs> Facebook or Instagram, awesome. Yeah, guys, f follow me on Instagram. I put quite a lot on there. Um, at the minute especially I'm trying to gain a profile um, Instagram seems to be the place that you, you've got to you've got to get a lot of followers if you're not on Instagram um, and you want to get on Instagram go and follow me jenny.colquit um, and also follow the band which is Ely Elysian double underscore UK um, we post on there very very often as well Angel yes <laughs> This one's by Sarah McLaughlin, and this one is for Paddy. Stone cold hotel. 
Go, that one's by Sarah McLaughlin. Dear Daughter. I might do it on the piano. Let's try and learn it. This is a song I normally play on the guitar. It's called Dear Daughter. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just say it. That's what the, the the title track of my next EP is. Dear Daughter. Um, so yeah. This one's called Dear Daughter. And I'm going to sing it on the piano. Don't forget guys, please share the stream as well. Because we've got... We want to try and get this pushing at least past 40 each time. We're sort of 30s, mid-30s at the moment. So if we can... Um, get a few more people interested in the stream then brilliant hey Steph welcome to the stream I hope you're doing really well I miss you guys so much already <laughs> right guys this one's called dear daughter Just breathe, 
just breathe. Guys, that was called Dear Daughter. It's uh, just a four verse song. <laughs> My battery went, Oh, I hope it didn't go while I was singing um, True to Me. <laughs> uh, but if it did, let me know. <laughs> Chilling version, you do this song perfectly. Thank you. Thank you, Lee. Cheers, buddy. Thanks a lot. Lifeboat, please. We all need a lifeboat in our lives. We definitely do. We definitely do. I'm very fortunate to have a lifeboat in my life. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you all. Yes, Alan agrees. Thank you. Yes. You started to watch earlier. That's awesome, Pauline. Thank you. As long as they know, if you're watching at a watch party, I don't see your comments, so don't feel like I'm ignoring you if you if you're um, commenting different requests. I just don't. I don't get to see them on here. But it's brilliant that you're watching. So thank you anyone who's watching in a watch party. That's brilliant. First, I didn't realise how good this track is. What a fool I am. It's pure class. Wow. Thanks, Alan. Is that Dear Daughter? Is that your own song? Yes, Dear Daughter. That's um. It's a song that I wrote when I was in a very delicate time in my life. Um. When I was struggling. Um. So that's what that song's about. And it's quite emotional for me. And it's only... It, it sort of just came out as it was and I've actually I've still got the video of me actually singing it I might share it on the Patreon at some point uh, the video of me singing it for the, for the first time um, and it's it's a sad video because I don't know what I was going through at that time but at the same time it's an amazing video because it's made me realise what I've become since that so yeah that's my own song John so yeah uh, if you guys it, when I talk about the Patreon the Patreon link is below I post on there quite regularly. It's like tutorials of how to sing the songs. Um, it is a subscription-based thing, so it starts at £5 a month and you get like Patreon-only streams and you get any behind-the-scenes footage and things like that. So yeah, if you're interested in that, just go on to Patreon. It doesn't actually work. <laughs> to be fair, I need to update this link because the link, it's... Um, if you just go on to Patreon and in the search bit, if you type in Jenny Colquitt Music or just Jenny Colquitt, it'll come up. Um, for some reason that link is actually not working at the moment I'm not sure why even though I requested it from the website thanks Alan thank you Ayla said hello hello Ayla great to see you even though I can't see you you can see me but hello hello grandma <laughs> I know you're watching you're always watching always watching <laughs> always watching Wazowski right what should we what should we sing next guys Mm. I'm gonna do um this song's called Tell Me Where the Light Is and this is a uh, another one of mine, uh, very recent well, I say very recent, I wrote it probably October last year now. So it's it's getting old, it's getting on. It's called Tell Me Where the Light is Light Is. For the ones we knew Who made it out of here For the ones we found along the way Who never made it all the way You 
are the saviors when no one knows the way. So tell me where the light goes when darkness comes our way. That was called Tell Me Where the Light Is. Welcome to the stream, Jane. Thanks, Marilyn, for um, tagging Jane. Thank you so much for joining us. Tell Me Where the Light Is such a powerful song and so appropriate in this present day. Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah, I wrote it about um, my friend Christian who was unfortunately killed last year. But it's about them still being with us in our day-to-day -day life and being able to guide us in the right direction because you know even after you've passed away I do believe that you play a massive role in in people's lives and that's um that's what that song's about it's a happy song even though it's sounds like a sad song it's actually a happy song uh, do, 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 do. after the gold rush of course this one's for you Ian if you've not checked out my YouTube channel as well if you're not watching on YouTube and you're watching on Facebook, please check out the YouTube channel. Uh, it should be linked above or below. I'm not sure where it goes. Um, I've never never seen it physically. I can only see what I see. But the link is um, <laughs> it's either above or below for my YouTube channel. So go and check it out. And I put a cover of this on on Sunday. I do covers every single Sunday. Five o'clock, guys. Well, I say covers. I do a video. It can be original or covers. This one's called After the Gold Rush, and this is uh, by Neil Young, but this is the trio version. Well, I 
I dreamed I saw the nights in Norway Come and saying something about a queen There were peasants singing and drummers drumming In the archer split the tree There was a fanfare blowing to the sun That was floating on the breeze Look at Mother Nature on the road in the 20th century. I was lying in a burnt out basement with a full moon in my eyes. I was hoping for a replacement when the sun burst through the sky. I could cry I was thinking about what a friend had said I was hoping it was a lie I was thinking about what a friend had said I was hoping it was That one's called After the Gold Rush. Ah, oh, thanks, guys. Thank you, everybody. Love how you write songs about things that matter to you. Yes, absolutely. I don't think I could write songs about things that didn't matter to me, to be honest, beyond ice. But yeah, um, I definitely do write songs. I mean, some of the songs are more loosely linked to things that happen to me you know I do I write songs about for example Lady Aaron Rowe is written about finding love after divorce now obviously I've never been divorced but I'm writing songs through the eyes of people still so you know it matters to somebody um I, I talk about that kind of thing in the way I write a lot in the blog which I've not I've unfortunately not been able to post a lot on recently I've just been so busy that I don't even think my mind's got any space to be able to even think about how I'm thinking, which is essentially what the blog is. But if you go onto um, jennycolquitmusic.com, there's a blog called Sound Mind on there, and it's it's, it's kind of describes the, the reason behind all the songs, especially on the EP. And I am planning on writing some more about some of the songs that I've, I've wrote, written more recently. But if you go and check out um, the blog on jennycolquitmusic.com, that's definitely tells you about my song songwriting process and um i think you'll understand from that a little bit kind of you know the songs do come li literally come from here art of gold when you are back on the guitar okay i'm gonna do one more song on the piano this one's called wide open spaces the reason i didn't do this is first because 
feel like a lot of people got to miss out on this one. But this is on the, the EP, which is called The Quiet Kind, but this is called Wide Open Spaces. I was born a president of the soft-spoken world Lost in imperfection and lost in this world I was born a Friday child in a land full of greed And swore to keep a promise and swore to believe And nights full of madness Nights full of sin So why don't we stop all this What have we done What are we here for Why do we cry Why don't we stop all this Why do we leave Wide open spaces in between all love, all love, all love. I was born an innocent. I was born in need, and torn away from silence, and told I was free. But I was just a little scared I was frightened to be heard And I became to fear the world And now I believe And what have we done? And what are we here for? Why do we cry? And why don't we stop all this? Why do we leave? Wide open spaces Our love, our love, our love Wiping spaces in our world. You were trying to make it so We can't see Blind to all the sadness and blind and deceit. You were just a jealous soldier, you were sent to kill anything that came between us. And I know you well. What have we done? What are we here for? Why do we cry? Why don't we stop? Spaces in between all love, all love, all love. What open spaces? That was called Wide Open Spaces. <laughs> um, apologies about the dog walking in front of the light then, because the light probably went out. Um, and it, he did it the second I said, you were trying to make it so we can't see. <laughs> Didn't you, mate? Yeah, he knew. Yeah, um, sailing to Philadelphia. I did that one. I think you were on the toilet there, Alan, when I did that one. <laughs> Uh, the sound is great tonight. Simon's work. No, Simon's in work. <laughs> so, I mean, it, a lot of it is Simon's work. He sets up the the iPad and I just kind of adjust little bits on it. Wide open spaces or 
dear daughter for number one joint wow thanks yeah dear daughter's um don't know if i can kind of prefer it on the piano actually i gonna have to decide that before we call it on the ep <laughs> thanks all thank you thank you thank you right i'm gonna move on to the guitar now um and then I'm, I'm probably not going to go on for too much longer tonight because I have some vocal things that I'm trying not to overdo it. Now, I know that streaming for two hours is essentially overdoing it, let's be honest, but we're probably just going to do maybe th maybe two, th maybe two, three, maybe four, depending on what you guys ask for. And then we're going to leave it for tonight. But yeah, let's... What did people ask for? Let's, let's go back and check that out. Heart of Gold. Yeah, okay, guys, we'll do that. I'm having a bad hair day today. It's very humid in this room. It's like an art to this, you have to put one on, then the next. All have to be safe, safe, health and safety. Mum always asks for this one. Do you not care about health and safety? <laughs> plug it in, Jen, plug it in. We'll be all right then. Right, this one's called Heart Gold. This was by Neil Young.
There you go. We're going to call that one the health and safety song. It's called Heart of Gold by Neil Young. The dogs are going crazy out there. They like that harmonica. It makes them go a bit insane. Not that they, they're not already insane. Because they are. Aren't you, mate? I'm on fire. Of course. Of course we can do I'm on fire. And then after that we'll do... We'll do one more. And then... Um, we'll call it a night. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Right. This one is called I'm on fire. By Bruce. Got a bad desire. Oh, I'm on fire. Tell me now, baby, is it good to you? Does it do to you the things that I do? Or I could take you high. Oh, oh, I'm on fire. Sometimes it's like someone took a knife, baby. Edgy and dull and put a six inch valley through the middle of my soul. And I'd wake up with the sheets soaking wet and a freight train running through the middle of my head. You cool my desire. Thank you all. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you, Simon. Thank you. Welcome again to the stream. Great to see you. You from the St. Helens area? I'm from Witness, um, which is the St. Helens area. <laughs> Have you come across John? Ch I know John Chatterton very, very well. Um, your throat is on fire. Now rest it. Yeah. Very good point. I'm going to do one more song, and then I'm going to take Beyond Eyes Eighties, Beyond Eyes Eighties. Um, advice I'm going to rest um, thank you so much Vic right guys I'm going to finish with a band song because I want to it's called Little Blue Boy I wrote this very recently about following your dreams even in times that you think you know what this ain't going to happen and you know what it might never happen but we've got to follow our dreams because if we don't, then we'll look back later on in life and go, 
why didn't I do that then? Why am I waiting till now to regret it? And um, we don't want that. So this is called Little Blue Boy. And this is for Simon. I don't know if you're listening. And after this, guys, I'm going to leave it for tonight. But don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to share the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out the links below. Good night. times when you're frightened I feel it in my bones There are nights when we're fighting And the world just seems so cold There are times when we're lost in silence In a world Fight it for a life when we won't feel alone. We are running for a fun, we are searching. This road that'll lead us to a better sense of what we know, but the darkness is the hardest feeling to
Thank you so much, guys. I wanted to say before we go, um, that don't forget I'm streaming tomorrow night as well for Nugent, which is um, an organisation which raises a lot of money. So Nugent stream is tomorrow at 7. It will be from the Nugent page and hopefully from my page as well. So I'll see you tomorrow, guys, at 7 if you can make it. And I'll see you very soon. Good night.